feels taking this shade cloth off our pop can solar heater it works real well for our house and it's cheap and he's getting ready to take it off this is on the, our west wall if it was on the south I think it even get hotter it gets around 300 degrees our thermometer at 250. Plastic. It was a plastic thermometer. But it works good for us. That's a around three by eight. We got a glass and it, uh, on it. I gotta shift these vents up. I'll vent them. These pipes are vents. Where it, where it, if it does get a little bit hot in the summertime it'll vent on out the top yeah and then i shut them up in the winter and make the air go through our window and uh, our utility room windows right here i didn't want to put a hole in the wall because i was just experimenting with this and uh, i can take it off and clean the wall up it's just tied into the wall with these anchors and uh and then caulked and uh the air comes in the bottom, and all those cans got holes in them, in the bottoms of them, and then, the, of course, the holes in the top. And the idea is the, the cool air comes in the bottom, and try, it's going to rise, and come right up here and go out the utility room window. And it gets probably a little over 300 degrees. Yeah. I, I, I don't remember the exact number, but uh, we had to put an oven thermometer in there because it got it get too hot for a little plastic one that we had. It works good. It, it does work good. Uh, birds trying to make a nest here. Yeah. The and you know, if you got a, a barn or shed mm -hmm. and you want to warm it up cheap, this is a good way to do it. Years, oh, it's been 15, 20 years ago. Uh, a fellow contacted me. He had these solar panels. They were, this is not really solar, it's just, it's a, uh, glass but it's thick glass and it's safety glass <clears throat> but that's what they use on the panels they they used to try to heat the water with the solar and where he lived the problem was the water it would stop up the piping so they had a lot of them in different areas in that town like this and there was a whole array of them on top of his roof and he wanted me to take them down for him and uh he just wanted to throw them away and i asked him if i could have them i uh, they had a aluminum and copper framework and then this glass in here and they just heated the water kind of preheat the water and, and use it for heating in the house too but uh, the problem was the water stopped up the pipes because it uh, had a lot of minerals in the water that were that in that town so there was a lot of it that didn't work and uh, that was back oh gosh i think in the 70s 80, early 80s maybe when the government was given big incentives to do this kind of stuff and uh, a lot of people done it now the cans we we done this they're just aluminum pop cans i think there's one beer can right in there somewhere <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah. i painted them black and uh i've got uh insulation uh between the cans and that wood and protect it and the rest of it the heat just travels up and we open that it's a utility room window and we open that up and it just you can put a fan on it some people put little solar fans on them that, that they'll have the collector up in this window and the little solar fan will, and it, they even work better that way but i just wanted to i want to see how it would work i uh, never seen it before and, uh, I had ideas about it from a long time ago with an old water heater that I seen on a Mother Earth news magazine way back in the 1970s. Uh, you use a water heater the same way, basically. But uh, And we got a bunch of these glass panels still. Yeah, we've still got some of these. And if we, if we made a whole wall out of them, we'd probably cook. <laughs> yeah, we'd, uh, oh we'd have to... 
probably cover some of them. Yeah, that'd be pretty hot. But this is facing the west, so they don't get, it's starting to get uh, warm already. It's just not quite hot enough where it'll make you take your hand off of it right now. It's it's already that, that warm. Uh, it's probably oh, 100, 100 degrees already. Yeah. And uh, it works good uh, for us. We like it. And I just store this shade cloth through the winter, roll it up, put it in the well house. And, and if you really interested you can find different things yeah, on it di different designs on the internet on I think like YouTube a young boy somewhere yeah was the first one that thought about this his family was real poor an uh, Indian boy was it and yeah. uh, they were he just trying to figure out ways to heat the house to heat the house and help out uh, that's what people used to do a long time ago yeah see that's open where it can catch air Yeah, right here it's open uh-huh and all those cans are pulling air in and, and the uh, air just goes up through all the cans. It through all the cans. It heats up. And the time it gets up there, it's like 300 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it works. I don't know how many cans it is. I didn't. I counted them one time, but I forgot. Now, anybody's going to make that, you're going to have to drink either a lot of beer or pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll, like, I'll drink the beer. <laughs> All you drunkards out there, get to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beer or pop. We, we pick these cans up in different places that uh, we go to horseback or hiking yeah. or go through uh, a camping area in the mountains. People are always throwing cans down. And we we just had a habit of picking them up a long time ago. Yeah. And we saved them. And... Uh, no, I think that would work good on the barn if your barn's real cold. Once yeah, the sun comes uh, out, if, uh, especially facing the, it's better facing the south because it's got mm -hmm. the sun on it all day. We don't get the sun on this until oh, about noon. And uh, if if you had a lot of these, uh, even up in the north country, probably if you had a lot of these on the south side of a big barn where you have livestock or something, it would. Uh, at least help during the day. It would. And uh, you probably could in incorporate it to uh, try to keep your water thawed out. And it does kind of stay warm overnight, don't it? Because sometimes we we've don't shut. That, yeah. We left that window open all uh -huh. night long, just forgetting about it. And uh, we still it, feel it the took warm. That almost all night long for it to cool back down. Yeah. So they they really work good, and that's just scrap lumber. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I bought was. Uh, Oh, the screws. Uh, this this lumber here, uh, we got that in a. And we got some uh, for firewood actually, just a load in the truck, and had some pretty good boards in it. And I thought, well, I'll use them instead of buying some because yeah. I wasn't sure if it would work, but it does work. Works real well. Yeah. And uh, our utility room, the the back porch helps that we went put the windows in made a back porch there but it really keeps the utility ro uh, room uh, yeah and nice the kitchen and, nice and warm so we don't have to supply extra heat yeah and it goes through the and kitchen it goes, too. filters in through the kitchen so, so uh, it keeps it warm uh, it, it's real nice on the on the coldest days uh, it, it really produces as long as that sun's out and we get a lot mm -hmm. of sun now that's the drawback if you're up north where it uh, stays cloudy a lot yeah. Uh, there's always energy in that air, somewhat, uh, so they do work a little bit, uh, even in uh, you know not so sunny day. But uh -huh. uh, you know it's they're better in a sunny area. We we get probably over 300 days of sunshine a year here where we're at. Uh, and if this was on the south side, it'd really be cooking. Yeah, <laughs> be really yeah, hot. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have to use yeah. much wood or gas at all uh, and we don't we've cut down we've cut down on our our gas probably 75 percent now by uh, the sunroom this back porch and this solar this yeah. one little solar and that's just a passive solar so uh, you know it's something to think about it is it's a poor man's solar heater and, and it works the old saying is what are you doing besides nothing <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Go <laughs> build, build you a pop can solar heater. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gives the neighbors something to laugh about. Yeah. Well, it don't look bad, though. All right. Well, thanks for watching from Out West Homestead. Bye. <laughs> Bill's hunting. Huh? Bill's hunting. She thinks there's something in there. Well, what is it, Bill?